why are we seeking over 200 unique golf clubs to work with us on a 90-day pilot program? I'm Bill Garrity, and on the tee today, we are diving into the potential of Clubhouse CTV. Appreciate you tuning in today. In today's episode, we are going to try to answer that question and some other questions that are going to come up just in general regarding the AdQuick marketplace and our integration of that technology. As we implement a ad tier option for our customers, we're doing it with the intent of allowing them to maximize the value that they have of their space, maximize the attention. One of the things that make AdQuick very interesting is the large pool of global, national, and regional advertisers that go to that marketplace to buy out of home. So you can buy out of home, you can buy billboards, you can buy street furniture, you can buy gas pump advertising, you can buy all different types and forms of advertising in this vertical. To answer the original question, why we're seeking 200 to participate is that's how we are able to, that's the threshold, that's the minimum number that we need to be able to show up on the radar for the big brands. They're looking for reach. They're looking for a certain penetration of different markets and market sizes. So to be able to uh, be able to get the RFPs or get the media dollars from the different brands, we need to have a decent footprint for them to work within. So we're looking for 200 unique clubs that want to participate in that and Essentially, what we believe is to create the clubhouse vertical out of home marketplace with a threshold of 200 clubs to get the attention of the national brands. That's where we expect 12 to 15 RFPs requests for proposals during that period of time. We don't know exactly in the number that will get accepted by the club partners and which ones are going to be uh, perfect fits. So if you go to the AdQuick marketplace, you would see that there are different types of advertising, place-based advertising. So it's going to be more of a, a Netflix is promoting uh, an upcoming series, and that series is going to be used and formatted a little bit differently across the different channels, from billboards to gas station TV advertising, I should say, or airport advertising, wherever they're going to be displaying that message. We want them to tailor it to you. As a new medium, we're not going to have that leverage yet, but we're going to be working towards bringing that personalization to your medium at a local level and then on a direct level. So just to be clear on how we see this kind of coming together, this will allow us to understand what our needs are for managing your expectations correctly for implementing the buys and the campaigns and all the shareholders that are going to be involved in making that happen. So I wanted to be clear on that. That's an important element of it. The revenue sharing is going to be the lion's share of that revenue for each of our club partners when it's through the AdQuick marketplace. So similar to a YouTube model at around 60%. And then direct sales will be an even higher percent to the clubs. And then local sales will be at a 90 to 10 split. So club partners will retain 90% of the ad revenue from a local referral, and then we would take a 10% sales commission on that. So that involves us implementing the buys, improving the ad campaigns, working with the advertisers to make sure that the ads meet the standards of each of our club partners. That's one implementation. The second is we also are going to work in and represent your space directly to brands. So we are going to go at more of a targeted uh, golf brands and look to work with different brands that are looking to reach golfers and deliver a network of direct sale, uh, direct sales to those brands. Last and most importantly, local referrals. With local referrals, we are working with you to represent your members and allow you to kind of offer that space like you might a sign outside the so to support the swimming team so in the past you might have printed a sign and had a sign outside your your swimming pool for a business right now we're asking you to have members support a new form of media a form of media that allows them to digitally market their businesses 
but also supporting new technology in your environment that allows you to communicate better, that's going to allow you to keep them informed, and then has a great ease of use in the golf course space. That's one thing that I feel really confident about in us being able to deliver is a real simple, easy to use product for the non-technical user of a golf course, which really excites me in how we can help people. Um, we want to try to take some of that, that legwork or that dirty work that comes with the media element of this, where you have to report back to them that their logo isn't in high enough resolution or you have to tell them that this ad is inappropriate. We're going to have do that lifting for you and provide that as a service while <clears throat> implementing those campaigns. Those are the three different ways that we initially see us being able to drive digital media revenue into your clubs. Down the road, we'll be able to test different QR Im implementations and different marketing opportunities that we can create and see if there's a way to generate even more revenue for you. But for now, that's where we see the, the, the pilot program having uh, the best return on investment for our club partners is through implementing that. Beyond the revenue, it's about enriching the club experience though. Really, the ad and that implementation is secondary to driving attention to the TVs. And the attention and some of the best attention that's going to be needed on those TVs comes from our club partners, the events that you host, the different things, uh, tournaments that you're, that you're playing, getting your members used to using the QR functions of their phone to sign up for different events. They might have seen an email from you five or six times promoting an event, but when they're at the club and you provide that QR code and that information preloads into the form, that makes it a very seamless experience for them to actually commit and sign up to that event, driving more revenue for your clubs. So that's the omni-channel marketing service that also is part of the experience that we're providing. And then we are going to work to sprinkle the right ad partners in. And for clubs that want to maximize their revenue potential, we're going to give you all three options. And we find the right mix of what's a good playlist that isn't ads at nauseum to an audience, where that's going to turn them away. We're going to test with you on the number of ads, which you're comfortable with, if your goals, what your goals are, and make sure that the member experience is always being put at the forefront. If it becomes too many ads, you, you pull back immediately. We make adjustments and we keep the members first. That's part of the uh, back and forth that we want to create during the pilot program and the dialogue that we want to have with our club partners is keeping in mind the member experience is always going to be at the forefront. How do we supplement that with the right sponsors and the right brands? At the heart of our mission, is the promise of tailored dynamic content. And we're just at the start of this exciting journey and we want your club to be part of this pioneering move. Looking ahead, our next two videos, I'm really excited because that's gonna dive into the different types of plans. We have a part one and part two, where the part one is discover Clubhouse's plans, our ad-free and essential plan. And then in the video five, our fifth video in this series, we are going to discover our engage and sports plan. As we look to the future videos that we're going to offer, hit the subscribe button. Let us know what you think. If your club is at all interested in this, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.